Today I'm going to show you how to do an advanced motion track sky replacement in Final Cut Pro. Let's go. So this is pretty much my intro graphic. First thing is first, you will want to download this footage that I have here from pexels.com. They have amazing free stock footage, so go ahead, go download it so you can follow along with the tutorial. The next thing you'll want to do is just drop your footage onto the timeline, just starting with this boat shot here. So what you'll want to do is select your footage, scroll down to the bottom here of your video inspector and find the trackers panel. Go ahead and click that and we're just going to move this tracker to a spot that looks nice and trackable. So I'm actually going to try and track the shoreline here and I'm actually going to rename this as sky track just like that. Now let's go ahead and push analyze and Final Cut Pro will quickly do its thing. So we've got that all tracked. Let's go ahead and get our footage in here. So if we take our cloud footage, we can drop that on top here and we can shorten it down to the length of our scene. After that, we are going to go up here to the transform tool and you will see this new feature here, the tracker box, if you are in 10.6 and also this down arrow, go ahead and click that down arrow and we're going to just select our sky track. So now our sky is going to move along with how the scene is moving. And you can see it's a very subtle motion, but it is in fact happening. So now let's go ahead and implement this into the scene. We're going to go to our effects panel here and we're going to look up the graduated mask. I love using the graduated mask for really blending in shots together. Let's go ahead and also get out of our transform tool. And so now you can see with this graduated mask, we actually have options to drag this down, get it set up exactly how we want. So what I want is actually, let me disable this you'll see this really large white spot area here and that just looks really nice and dramatic. So let's go ahead and push up our sky here till it's just about at the horizon line with those trees. We'll get it just below that and we can drop the opacity to see what we're doing here. Perfect. And I'm also going to increase the scale here by let's do 110% there. After that, we can go ahead, re-enable our graduated mask and we can disable our transform tool and then take this mask and get it down to the horizon line. Now we can push option, click and drag, and that will duplicate this underlying layer. And we are going to use a Luma here to save all the detail in the buildings, but take out the sky. So go ahead and look up the Luma key tool and drag that onto that overlying footage. Now what it's doing right now is actually deleting the buildings and keeping everything that's white. So we want to invert that by selecting this invert box here. And then we can click on this icon here and that will show us a black and white representation of what's being deleted and what's being kept. So we're going to want to drag up the dark areas and drag down the white areas to get us some nice contrast. And you'll see it's affecting the sky as well, but we are not going to worry about that. We will deal with that in just a moment. So we can just get a nice solid Luma key here. You can still see the detail in the buildings. You can see all the objects up here in the foreground. So we can go back to the original shot. So now you can see we've got the sky moving in behind those buildings. But but we do have an issue of the clouds up here at the top. So to deal with that, we're going to get a draw mask effect, drag that onto the shot. And we are just going to completely remove the sky by selecting a box around it just like that. And then we will invert the mask. So we now have the sky rolling in here and it's going in behind these buildings. It's looking really nice, but you'll notice that there is no reflection in the water down below. There's a little bit of one here, um, but that's just an incidental reflection. So what we want is a real reflection of the sky happening down in the water. And it's just going to implement the sky down into this scene much better. So to do that, go ahead, select your sky and we will push option, click and drag, and that will give us another sky just like that. Select your transform tool and we can just drag this down into the water. Then we are going to apply the flip effect. So you can go down to your effects, drag on flipped, and that will get it flipping horizontally. We actually just want vertically. So now this will be a mirrored image of the sky above. Now it's not looking very blended. If I take off the transform tool, you'll see that the water looks really choppy. It just looks totally fake. So let's go ahead and dial that in. If you select your clouds there, we are going to apply a blend mode of 
overlay. So now the clouds are going to be overlaying on the water. So you still get the water detail, but you see the actual clouds rolling through the water. So that's going to give us a much more realistic reflection. Another thing you'll notice is the reflection is a little bit too sharp. So let's go ahead and apply a blur filter. We'll go to our blur here and we will go ahead and do the directional blur. And we're just going to do a very subtle blur to get it just a bit more realistic. Now, if it's still coming through a little bit too strong, you could drop the opacity, but now you should be set. You should have a nice sky reflection happening in the water that looks very realistic, and you have this gorgeous sky rolling in above the shot. So one last thing we could do is we could go ahead and select our buildings up here, push command six, and we could dial in the colors to match the sky a bit better. So we'll go ahead, take our midtones kind of over to the blues a little bit, and this is is by, by no means a professional color grading tutorial. It's just a general kind of get it in that realm. So we can push the blues kind of over to the midtones. And I am noticing that we have a little bit of these trees here. So let's go ahead and pull those out. We'll just affect our, our graduated mask here a little bit. Maybe pull this down vertically just a tiny bit. So hopefully you don't notice those. Now, if you are unhappy with how realistic this looks, you could also go into your adjustment layers. We could add that to the top and we could add my truly handheld plugin, which is completely free. I'll have a link in the description and we'll just drag on. Let's try the 35 millimeter, drag up the smoothness and let's just see how that looks. Perfect, we now have this gorgeous shot with this super dramatic sky and it just took a few minutes to pull this off. If you enjoyed this style of tutorial and you wanna up your video game and make it look more filmic, I super recommend you check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.